Hey guys, Zero Sixty Four here. Haven't made a video um, in a while. I'm sorry for that. Um, getting away from the topic of comedy in my videos, I'm making this video to touch on a big issue that you know I think a lot of YouTubers are guilty of. I myself am guilty of it, and it's the subject that. You guys have probably been hearing a lot on the news and uh, TV, and it's uh, bullying, cyberbullying, bullying of others, that side of the, everything. Um, last day, I was in an assembly at school, and I met um, a mother of a of a um of a child there who told us this story about this girl who is kind of exactly like me, has some disabilities exactly like mine, who just got bullied and bullied and bullied. Um, other kids got uh, her to do their homework for her, um, physical abuse, um, just insult after insult after insult, and you know, it touched me very much because I myself have gotten, th has gone through a lot of bullying, both on YouTube and off YouTube and I myself for a time was sucked into all this trolling bullshit and I myself was the bully. I've been both the victim and the bully. I've been on both sides and after hearing the story I, I just came to the point where I'm done with it and um, so from what's gonna happen is I'm going to be speaking out against bullying because guys it needs to stop people are taking their lives they're committing suicide at, at a time it could be funny I've gotten past some of the crap that's been throwing me through it through um, YouTube and stuff like that I've talked to some of the guys that have trolled me I mean you have to understand it needs to stop the hate needs to stop the stupid rants the attempts to make comedy out of um, other people uh, basing all series and, and animations off people it it's just it needs to stop there's a there's a time where comedy can be funny and the person that you're belittling can maybe you know laugh at it but a lot of times on the internet you don't know who the person is I mean, the person can be making a facade, the person can be hiding in all these emotions, you don't know, you know, you have to really get to know the person before you insult them, because guys, it needs to stop, there's hate everywhere. We're making fun of people because they're not good enough to be machinimating, they're horrible at what they do, they do stupid crap, they say stuff that they regret, it's, there's no point in it, you're making yourself feel better, I was sucked into it. I, I've been belittling people at school and on YouTube. I've been cyberbullying and I feel awful. I feel like a monster. I mean, ever since I heard that me, I've been trying to apologize to every single person that I've bullied. I've been trying to make amends any way I can. You know, because it's just not right. And it needs to stop. I'm going to tell you right now, you guys are probably not going to like it. I don't care. I'm taking a step to prevent all this if I see a video on YouTube that I feel is making you know rude comments and cyberbullying someone I am reporting it I'm not gonna do it with my videos for now I'm not sure yet I myself have gotten rid of all the things on my Facebook all my YouTube videos that could be related to cyberbullying someone that doesn't want to be bullied or could be taken the wrong way I've been doing that so if you're thinking, okay, he's going to report me, I'm going to report him for crap that he's done, don't, you're, don't waste your time because I'm taking it down because it's not fair and it's not right. Granted, I will be making some videos that has comedy, making fun of groups and stuff like that, but it's going to be for the sake of comedy and not for the sake of making myself feel better at someone's expense and making their life a living hell. There's a, there's a time where a joke can go too far and there's a time where someone becomes so enraged as someone that they will do everything in their power use everything in their arsenal, use any friend that they have to make a person's life a living hell. Christian is an example. Christian has 
very big issues. I mean, when I defended him once, I didn't know all about his stuff. He's not... He, he's very strange. Should he be bullied? No one should be bullied. No matter what the hell they have done, no matter what mistakes they have made, no matter what mental state, race, religion, beliefs, sex, anything, they don't have the right to be bullied. Everyone in the world has the right to be respected. You want to be respected, then I suggest you respect others. That's my philosophy and that's what I'm going to do from now on. I, for a time, was a hypocrite because, you know, I was doing the exact same bullying to fit in with people on YouTube. You know, if people don't like me that I'm, going, that I'm taking this route to prevent bullying, don't tell me about bullying and don't link me to a video that's going to have someone bullying because I'm going to report it right away. I'm with this group, um, it's called Dolly's Wish, it uh, was founded by someone at my school. We're doing a, a, a bullying video and we're doing some skits, I'm going to be a part of it. I'm actually going to um, go on camera and be interviewed and tell my story about bullying. Um, right now, uh, I know a lot of people on YouTube are being bullied, it happens every day. Um, so, to make things a little better and to... Because a lot of these people sometimes they don't have counselors, sometimes they don't have people that they can actually go to to talk to them and so, a true friend to help them out and, and talk to them about the crap that's going on both on the internet and outside it. I've been on both sides and I know how shit goes down and I know what lengths people will go to to take to bully. I've done that. Um, if you have a Skype account, I'm in the link in the description, I'm going to put up my Skype account. Uh, feel free to contact me on Skype. I'm not on all the time. I have to do work and stuff like that. But when I'm online on Skype, add me and if you want to talk and maybe, you know, let out some crap about what's going on in the internet, your problems and stuff like that, feel free to message me, talk to me about it. I'm not going to blab it out to other people. I'm not going to, you know, use it to my advantage to make fun of you or something like that. Feel free to contact me on Skype. I'm not going to give up my home number. That's just going a little bit too extreme. For now, it's just going to be my Skype thing. If you want to talk to me on Skype and don't have Skype, I suggest you download it. It's absolutely free. Uh, you don't have to talk to me through headset. You don't have to talk to me through a call. You can text me. It's absolutely fine. And I'll be completely discreet about it. But the hate just needs to stop. And it's just not acceptable anymore and you know I mean how would you what like to live the rest of your life knowing that something that you said a video that you made you know an action that you took against someone led them to the point of ending their life would you like that I, I'm sure as hell would hate myself for the rest of my life uh, this video has been going on for, um, well, I'm going to stop it. Like I said, link's in the description. Um, this, please, try to um, prevent cyberbullying. Also in the link in the description is going to be the website to Dolly's Wish, which I'm going to be a part of. I'm going to be helping the mother and uh, the person, uh, the child that made it. I'm going to be helping them with stuff, maybe make the website better, maybe make them a YouTube channel, and I'm going to be... 100% dedicated to their cause. Um, her dream is my dream now because, you know, we may not be able to stop every single bully, but if we get more and more people who stand up to it, the more it's going to stop. And don't be afraid to, you know, say, say something and say, oh, you reported my video? Well, guess what? You're a fucking faggot. They're the fucking faggot for wasting their time to make a video about, about someone. In my mind, that's pathetic. I, I was doing that pathetic bullshit all the time. They can't come up with genuine comedy themselves, so they have to use something to their advantage to make fun of. Comedy is a horrible thing at times. Comedy can be used to make someone's life a living hell. It's not right. It's not fair. I'm going to try to prevent it. If there's some videos where I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to... Um, please tell me immediately. And may uh, you know, and if I feel that maybe you have a point, I'll, I might take the video down. Um, 
to the guys on Skype that I talk to, you know, I'm I'm still willing to hang out with you guys and talk to you about the guys, but when but if a conversation starts coming up with or we're we're bad mouthing about some guy for about a half hour, I'm leaving the call. I'm not gonna block anyone, I'm just gonna leave the call. Trolls, feel free to um you know ha uh keep on laying an ear fag and stuff like that on my comments, I'll be spamming it. You can call you can call me a pussy for doing that and you can say that I don't take criticism. Fact is that's not criticism, that's just being a douchebag and trying to belittle someone to make yourself feel better. And you know, I am who I am and people are all different and they should be respected no matter what who, what they have done or who they are. You know, but the hate needs to stop. So, like I said, I'm on Skype if you would like to talk to me. You don't have to. You know, it, it's completely your choice. I'm not going to blab it out to anyone. I'm just saying I've been on both ends. I know how it feels. I've been through that emotional shit where, like, you know, you just feel like crap for maybe a day. It affects your worth ethic uh, in the real world. Like, trust me, I can relate to it. So that's basically it. I hope to hear from you guys, and um, I'm gonna. I have a whole week break, so I'm gonna be working on some videos for you guys. So it, it, this is both an update and a bully awareness thing.